This space is by Natalie Bouchard and Annie Horth of Creative Flats, and they've outfitted a number of stylish places for long-term rentals. This L-shaped open concept loft has ceilings that are 12 feet high and then 10 feet high replicated factory windows, and it's in a building that was built in 1913. But in 2008, it was transformed to the state that it's in today, which is a timeless space with a retro modern industrial style, which I think is super cool. The inspiration of the space stemmed from Natalie and Annie's love of traveling in Europe. They love old and modern architecture and wanted to give this space a balance of both. I see the space as a perfect balance of light and dark and it feels fresh and timeless. You can't go wrong with dark and light or black and white. I love that Natalie and Annie decided to keep the brick around the windows but they played with contrast by painting it black and that framed the windows beautifully. The shell of the rest of the space was kept completely white. The concrete ceiling and concrete on the walls has all been painted out in white and the floor was epoxied in white as well and it glistens. Obviously Natalie and Annie have a huge fondness for all things vintage and antiques and they were in fact able to furnish this space in three months, which is amazing, with finds from Montreal and New York and also things from Italy and Paris. Right when you walk into the space you get a sense of the entire style. It's a mix of teak, Persian rugs, fashionable art, books and objects from travels and they all work together beautifully. The kitchen area is quite dark because there's only one window in that area, but Annie and Natalie embraced the darkness and just kind of went with it. They kept the kitchen cabinetry dark, but what I love is how the marble counter, the Carrera, just runs up the backsplash, and then they did these cool, very long uppers, one in black above another one with a frosted glass finish, which just plays up that nice mix of black and white. You really get a graphic feeling when you're in that space. Of course, the kitchen is really warmed up because there's a Persian rug on the floor, which is a hot look right now, and they've brought that same kind of feeling into the living room. What I like about the living room the best, though, is the mix of areas in the furniture, and that each sofa in this area, they're very different from each other, but they're both textured and have this kind of quilted effect, so they work together. That coffee table is massive and really works to unite the two sofas, and of course there's lots of wood in here as well. The dining area is open to the living room. It's one big open space. It's completely flooded with light through the gorgeous industrial windows. But what's cool is that they did two square dining tables that they could move apart or put together as they need. And then they mixed up the chairs. So you've got the Pantone chairs on one side and these vintage Thonet chairs on the other side. Up top, there's these massive industrial lights that were found at an antique store in Montreal. And the scale of them is so big and bold over the tables. I think the thing that makes this space are the panel doors. They're nice and chunky, the paneling on these doors, and they imbue the space with a sense of old world charm, giving it a nice sort of eclectic mix. The master bedroom is set up true loft style through a curtain, not a door, so there's this great sense of flow between the spaces. And it's a compact room, but it's cozy, and it has super high ceilings, so it doesn't feel crammed. I love the exposed brick behind the bed, which has so much texture, you don't need any artwork on it. The bathroom is a classic black and white approach which ties in with the overall scheme of the loft. I think the highlight though in here is the vanity which has this industrial edge because of the metal legs, all that open storage underneath and I love how thick and chunky the Corian trough sink is. It just feels like it makes a bold statement in that room. This space in Montreal by Annie Horth and Natalie Bouchard of Creative Flats is another example of their super creative work. They always do work that's intriguing and edgy. The most intriguing thing though is the fact that they rent these spaces out to celebrities and they won't tell me who they are. They want to keep it a secret, it drives me crazy.